Well, hello, hello. This is Dave and Callie. Welcome back to the show. Today is kind of a sad day, uh, mainly because of what's going on in Florida and what's happening with uh, Disney. Uh, you know, Walt Disney, you know, left us in 1966, and he created a, an unbelievable empire that catered to family values and, and what it meant to, to take your kids and enjoy the day and have some unusual, unbelievable fun, all in a kind of a, wrapped into a kind of a fantasy world. But now, Walt would be turning over in his grave with what's happening with the company now. Now, it's one thing to not discriminate and it's another thing to actually embrace or promote and sticking with, um, you know, the fundamentals and staying out of politics, staying out of these pressures to uh, force things on society. That's where Disney went wrong and they should have just stuck to their business. It's like going to your mechanic and having him tell you how the plumber should be fixing your plumbing in your house. The mechanic has no business to talk about plumbing because he's a mechanic. He works on, you know, vehicles. Same way as the plumber shouldn't be telling you how to repair your refrigerator. So why are all these big companies, just because they're big and they got money now and they have influence, you know, that they think they can go in and start telling people how things should be or saying, well, we accept it now, you should accept it. Um, it that's just totally wrong. Let the, the public decide. Well, you say, well, why is Disney doing this? Well, number one thing that, that's corrupted Disney from the get-go is when they got into, um, you know, big media. When they got into big media, they started wielding their power on what influences people. And, you know, it is a science to how to best sell things to people, you know, uh, find out what people like and so forth. But then they went, they, they crossed that line. They, they started saying, well, how can we manipulate the public for more sales and so forth? So this all kind of falls in line. But at the same time, when the manipulation starts happening, all of a sudden they realize the power that they have. And so now they're actually pushing ideologies on people, which they should have no business. So why am I bringing all this up? Well, you know, DeSantis has set up a, a, a bill to um, stop the um, self-governing uh, situation that was um, created back in the 60s uh, with Disney because Disney came in, bought up a bunch of land nice and quietly, and they planned on building Disney World. Well, the task was so enormous that the two neighboring cities and counties could not handle what Disney wanted to do. And there was no place to bring power in. It was 15 to, you know, 10 to 15 miles away for power and, and you know, drinking water and so forth. Uh, plus, all, you know, having to govern all the, the uh, streets and, and you know the infrastructure so they they made a provision to allow Disney to basically become their own entity or their own government within the state and so once that happened Disney took on because they had the money to do this uh, and also it you know it, it made it you know very um, affordable for them and it cut a lot of the red tape because uh, usually when projects like this go forward, it takes months and months and months to get things through planning and so forth. But if you're self-governing, you know, you know, you you can make things happen really quick. Not to say that Disney was cutting corners. I don't think so. I think they did everything correctly and, and the way they should for the most part, because back in those days, Disney had integrity. Today is a different story. The it's grown so big that they've kind of got kind of corrupt within themselves. So anyway, now this SB4 
is uh, it was got passed, and um, the original thing was back in see, 1968 is when the exemption really uh, uh, came into effect. So last Wednesday, the Senate voted 32 to 16 in favor of uh, removing their status. So then it goes to the House. So it went on the House uh, Thursday, and according to the Gateway Pundit, it says it was 68 to 38, but I also uh, looked at the, um, uh, the little video, which I'll show you the clip in a bit. Uh, it actually said 70 to 38, so it actually passed. Now you're going to think, well, what's going to happen? You know, all of a sudden, Disney's going to close down. Well, no, that's not exactly what's going to happen. The, it doesn't go into effect till June 1st of uh, 2023. So it's actually gives them time to dismantle it. They say dismantle, but it's not really going to be dismantled. It's going to be a transfer of powers and the infrastructure and the taxes and, and uh, you know, building departments and, you know, all the, the you know, uh, things that they already do. And I'm sure that the... Uh, you know, the state or the county will uh, basically rehire the people that are already in those positions to c continue on. It's just that they'll answer to a different boss. So keep in mind, this is 25,000 acres. And it's, uh, what is it called, Reedy Creek or something like that. But uh, anyway, so Disney got themselves in hot water. So you know, it's like the old saying, go woke, go broke, is kind of what they're going to start having to look at. I don't know that they will go broke because uh, there's, you know, there's too much in place and so forth. They're just going to have to change gears. But I think that this is a, this is a, a sounding alarm to all these bigger corporations that maybe it's not a good idea to get in involved in all this garbage because... Uh, more and more companies are finding that uh, the repercussions of trying to be fit in and be cool and, and accepted by that 5% or less of society. Um, it's not not to say that they're you know, discriminating against it. We're just we're saying, okay, you know, if you feel that way and you want to be that way, great, great. Just don't force it on me. Don't say I should be that way or I should accept that. You know, you can do what you want to do, and I'll just kind of walk on by you. That's fine. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, oh, well, you, you know, shame on you. And I'm not going to do that kind of thing. So uh, there's a difference between accepting and so forth. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Jeez. So anyway, guys, I want to remind you to like, share, and subscribe. Watch this little clip. Uh, the you know we had some protesters in the meeting trying to disrupt it while they were voting and then we'll see you on the next one and we will vote on these two bills it is my hope that we will be able to proceed civilly and with decorum and with respect for one another read the next bill by Senator Bradley Senate Bill 4C a bill to be entitled an act relating to independent special districts Representative Fine, you're recognized to explain your bill. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. It seems as Mickey and many have joined us in the chamber today. That said, this is the bill that we discussed yesterday. Members, we will either go into structured debate or we will call the previous question. Representative Renner, you're recognized for a motion. Here, Mr. Speaker, I move the previous question on the bill. Representative Renner moves the previous question on the bill. This motion is not debatable and requires a majority vote. All in favor, say aye. aye. All opposed, no. Show the bill, show it, motion passes. We will now proceed to call the previous question. The, 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 the clerk will unlock the machine and members will proceed to vote on Senate Bill 4C. Have all members voted? Have all members voted? Clerk will lock the machine, announce the vote. 70 A's, 38 nays. Show the Speaker. bill passes. Read the